I'm absolutely delighted to be here this evening. It's probably the one evening of the year that I really, really look forward to. It's about celebrating our staff, our fundraisers and our volunteers. This type of event we, we try and do um, every year and it's a, a way of celebrating with our staff some of the great achievements that they've delivered over the last 12 months. Um, and it is really important, people are working really hard um, and it's hard in the moment sometimes to give recognition to some of the great work that is achieved in really difficult circumstances working in the NHS at the moment. We have 5,000 employees who do wonderful things every day for our patients. Great customer care, great service, really ensuring that they get the best possible treatment, the best possible patient care. Tonight's a small way we can do to recognise those individuals that consistently go above and beyond to do the very best they can every single day for our patients. I really don't envy the panel members who've had to shortlist them because, you know, seriously, everybody is a winner this evening. Um, I really hope um, everybody feels that way. It's a chance for us to say thank you for all the great work that staff do throughout the year. So I'm really looking forward to it. We've got quite a lot to get through. Um, and the suspense is killing me. People keep saying to me, so Jackie, do you know um, who some of the winners are? And I really, I really don't on this occasion. And I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the first award is Matt Hayes, Mark Hadley and David Slater. Yeah, events like this are really important. Um, uh, I think it's good to recognise uh, achievements that staff are making, uh, particularly innovations that are coming out of the healthcare system. Um, the driving healthcare forward for the patients uh, and for the local community. Helen Thompson, come forward. <laughs> Andrew Tinkler. Yeah, I, I wish I knew why I was chosen, really. I, and I, I'm really honoured to win this award, the Student Award. Which one of you two is Gillian? Dare. Yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> come, come forward, it's you. It was, a, it was a thrill to be actually nominated, but to win is absolutely, it's fantastic because I wouldn't be standing here today winning this award if it wasn't for my team and the clinical team that I've worked with very closely. Danny, Chris. I wasn't expecting to win it, to be honest. I sort of, I, I sort of came and I thought it's going to be a great night, you know, enjoying myself. I, I really didn't expect it. It's been it's great, yeah, it really is. Just, like I say, just had no idea. David and Eleanor Wood. Well, the reason we nominated David and Eleanor was um, through tragic circumstances, really, but through, through such tragic circumstances, they decided to fundraise and um, put all their efforts into fundraising, and eventually they've raised now over £80,000 as a result of it. Next up is the Supporting Organisation Award. All very deserving finalists, but the winner of this is... It's been quite a very personal achievement for me to be able to increase and optimise tissue donation rates. The one who can't be here tonight, Debbie Crawford. <laughs> I'm delighted to announce the winners of Midwife of the Year are Becky Bleakley and Celia Sachs. Tonight has been really, really, really great. We were really nervous, really at present about coming. In fact, we nearly did doubt. Um, so glad we came because it's been great, hasn't it? That's been a good night, yeah. And it's just it's great that we've been nominated because um, it just shows that the work that we do with bereaved parents is, is really, really important. And the winner is Lisa Wynn. Uh, I feel it's um, a real honour and a privilege just, just to be nominated and, and even shortlisted, but to, to actually win an award, it was something that I didn't expect at all. Um, it's important to recognise that um, staff do go that extra mile, and despite all the, the bad publicity, um, there is, there's still um, 
a lot of workforce out there that um, really believe and, and trust in, in the trust. And the winner is Dr. Murray. So Dr. Murray. I feel very honoured to have this award. Um, and I'm very thankful to Mr. David Wilkinson for putting me forward. At the same time, I do feel there are a lot of doctors who work really hard. Uh, and um, if I could, I could have taken my team with me. And by a thin edge, the judges decided to give this award to the bereavement team. I'm, I'm really delighted to. Uh, to get this award on behalf of my team he, um, tonight. This has been a really, you know, a real honour for us. Um, it's just um, a short time since we started this service, so we're really delighted that we've won this award. And the winner is Amit Kocha. I'm delighted to, to win this award and I'm very grateful for the support that I've had from everybody else. What we don't realise is that the NHS in today's world is, is one team and I've been very, very lucky to have a great team of support right from my fellow clinicians to nurses, audiologists and management and this was just another sign of the support that we get day in and day out. We now come to get Jackie back up here to do the Chief Executive's Award. I just think uh, not only is she one of our shining stars, she's got a really, really bright future. So Pauline Turner, please come up. Very um, unexpected. I've got a massive team of people that I work with, um, brilliant people, people that I can call a friend as well as a colleague and I know that we come to work to do the right thing for the patient and that is to enable them to be in the right place at the right time. So as part of being the team and leading Discharge, I know that I come to work to look after patients and get them home when they're ready to be at home. It's been a great evening, thanks very much and please drive safely when you do depart. Thank you.